Hey, Don Copeland here today with the G4, and uh, we're going to show you some uh, printing some really cool items. These are baby onesies and some baby bibs. All right, these are great. As you see, great idea. First Mother's first Mother's Day. You can do this for Christmas, first birthday. Just it goes on and on. Opening day of deer season, first year, whatever it is, you can do it all. But we're going to show you how we printed on these. Use some pretty cool uh, methods where we had to outsmart it because when you start to look at these things, there's some challenging things here that really don't fit in the regular grown up people size shirts type of situation. So we'll show you some cool tips and tricks here on how to print on these items. And, and it's crazy, just so you know, there's less than a penny worth of ink in this one. And this one we got crazy because we put a white underbase on it, it's a little bit larger. It's about 34, 35 cents worth of ink. So we'll show you how we printed them. So the first step we're going to deal with here is. We have to, we're dealing with a, a onesie, and there's all kinds of stuff going on here with a onesie, right? You got the folds here. There's all the stuff to make it easy to get them in and out of it, right? You got buttons down here you have to worry about. By the way, these are plastic, and I'm just going to give you a little public service uh, announcement here. Plastic melts when you heat press it. Just saying. I don't know how I would know that, but we're just going to say that, okay? So you want to get that stuff out of the way. So what we've done is we've taken some of this pad material. This is actually a, it's a base pad, a lower platen pad for a heat press. We actually sell these on Coleman & Company. The ones I think we sell there are red, right? And actually similar to the color of my shirt. And you can buy one of these at 16 by 20. You can cut it up for a difficult applications. Uh, not only DTG, but you can use it with any of our transfer processes like with digital heat effects or the heat applied vinyl. You can even use it with rhinestones and things like that to lift things up just to get plackets and things like that out of the way. In this case, we're trying to lift up the area we're printing to get all these folds and everything out of the way, get the buttons out of the way. So we place it in here. I was going to give it a real quick hit, kind of flatten out the surface of this before we pre-treat it. I'm not going to do a full press on it, just a couple seconds to get it flattened out. There we go. Here you go, it's sort of ironed, let's, let's say. Another trick we've done here is on our pre-treatment machine, all right? I just, because I know I'm going to be doing a little bit of overspray here, I went ahead and I've, I've put a a used shirt on here and you know if you're doing this every 15 20 shirts what you may want to do is take the shirt just press it just to dry the pre-treat that's over on i've also shortened the stroke up up here so it's only going to address just a short part of the bed so we're not wasting pre-treatment and we're getting a quicker pre-treat all right we're going to take the onesie now pick this up lay it in here all right get it straightened out so we're getting pre-treat where we want it all right Get that straight. There we are. So we're going to pre-treat this area here. You can see my corners, right? But I don't want to get a whole lot of overspray. So we have actually cut out a pad to cover the areas we don't want to print. I should pad. What I really meant was, this is an old t-shirt, right? We cut this out, so that's going to actually cover up a lot of the area outside. It's not going to get covered with pretreatment now. All right, not perfect, but the key is is we just want the pretreatment in this area that's raised up. So I'm going to close this right now. And we're going to hit it with spray. All right, you can see here we got from about here to here, which is fine. So we're going to be printing down that far. Get that out of the way. We're going to take I like that quick move there when the heat press grabs you. <laughs> Again. Just to make this easy, I'm going to set it off to the side so we can dry the pre-treat. It's going to take 45 seconds. Okay, so there we have it. We've pressed it. Pre-treat's in this area. I'm just going to pick this up. Obviously, you can be as careful as possible because you want to try to keep that position as best as possible. Pull this up here onto our vacuum platen. All right. I'm going to bring that up just a hair. All right. So now I see this is my pre-treated area. I've aligned this right to the front of the platen. All right, so I'm basically setting this where I want it to print. Make sure that these are out of the way. Don't heat press those plastic buttons, by the way. Public service announcement. Got this all lined up. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here. Get that little folded sleeve out of the way. Go into my recent jobs. And I did, that's the last one I did there. All right, so I'm gonna select this. Once again, as I described in some previous videos, on the G4, we have a collection of 20 of our last 20 files, unless we've saved some permanently in here, and they're saved here in memory. And you'll notice that this one down here at the bottom has got a black background. That's because that was sent over to have a white underbase sent with it. The other ones have just a white background. That way you can look at a job very quickly. Let's say you're doing these on light and dark shirts. The graphic's going to be the same, 
on here, but having the colored background allows you to know what it is. I've selected this one. When I select, hit the select button, it's going to drop it into my window. And this is going to show you what's going to be printed. And you'll notice what I did on this instead of playing the game of where am I going to print this down on the shirt, what I did is I printed this basically at the top of the print area, and then I've aligned the onesie to the front of the, the top of the print area where I want it to actually be printed. Okay? So we're just, once again, hit the magic button. And we get it printed. All right. So printed it straight onto the shirt or the onesie right there. I just ran over and checked the cost. Less than two cents worth of ink on here. It's like 1.4 cents worth of ink on this. So now what we're going to do is take it over to the heat press. And in this case, I think in some of my other videos, you might see that I actually take it off of the pad. But because we have things going on that we may not, that might melt, I've heard, if you uh, let them in, I'm going to leave it on the pad. Remember, these pads are fine. These pads, this is the same material. It's going to handle the heat just fine. So take that, lay down our handy dandy sheet. One thing that I would point out, when you're doing something like this, the, the, the press time on the pre-treat, the press time on the cure is 45 seconds, whether there's one of these on here, three or four of these on here. So you may want to take care of ganging up, have three or four of these pads cut out, do a handful of these or three or four at a time, and then throw three or four of them in here at a time to press. All right, even if you did two, it's now going to cut your effective press time down from 45 seconds a piece to 22 and a half. Go ahead and close that up. Did you catch that on video? Mm -hmm. That was pretty slick right there. All right, here we go. Remove the, uh, this is the rubber pad I was telling you we were using. Remove that from it. There you go. What an awesome Mother's Day gift for the first time mommy, huh? There we have it. It's uh, just three examples. We got the pink and a couple of whites. Uh, printing on infant uh, clothes, infant attire. This is a great marketplace, especially when you do it custom like this. If you get a picture of mama and baby and you can put it on this, it's just it's crazy what you can get for these. Great ideas for uh, mommies for their, like I said, first Mother's Day. Lots of different items. I think that you're going to find that this is a huge opportunity in your marketplace. This kind of stuff on Etsy and places like that just goes crazy. Just another uh, way you can use your DTG G4 to make money. I'm Don Copeland. Thanks for watching.